Hi guys, Take James here. In this video, I'll show you how to upgrade your PSP's memory stick and keep custom firmware and all of your games and files. So this is the current memory stick I've got on my PSP. It's just a basic um, Sony um, Pro Duo 8GB memory stick. It's got quite a lot of files and wallpaper on and it's also got 6.60 custom firmware which I want to transfer onto my new 32GB memory stick. So the first thing you want to do is just make sure there's no memory stick in your PSP and then you want to go ahead and just put your new uh, memory stick in. So I'm going to go ahead and put my 32GB one in. Right guys, so once you've done that just go ahead and turn on your PSP. So it's going to come up with this error message, it says the memory stick cannot be read, go to settings, system settings to format the memory stick. So if you don't get this message, it doesn't matter because it's, you can just do this thing anyway. But what you want to do, you want to scroll over to the system settings, here it is right here, just press X on it. Then scroll down until you find format memory stick, just press X on that. Then you want to just click yes, just go on yes again. Now it's going to format the memory stick to the correct format for the PSP. As you can see it says format complete. Okay, so once you've done that you just want to turn off your PSP again. So now what you want to do is connect your PSP to your PC using the USB cable and then connect the um, memory stick to your PC using a USB adapter or maybe it might even just plug into your PC. So once you've got both of these connected to your PC I'll show you guys what to do next. Right guys, so I'm over on my PC now. As you can see, here is my PSP connected and here is the SD card connected. Um, you can easily tell which one's which. Obviously one's got files on and one has pretty much got nothing on. So what you want to do is go into your PSP's files and this is what you want to copy over to your um, SD card. So my PSP is labelled as E and my SD card is labelled as F. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag all of these over to the F drive then just going to tell me how long it's going to take. So it's going to take, it says about seven minutes um, right there. So I'm just going to wait for this to complete and then I'll show you guys what to do next um, when this is done. Okay, so I'm back off my computer. All of the files have finished transferring across, so I no longer need um, this uh, memory card. Guys, so as you can see on the home screen, I now have my wallpaper and theme. So what I'm going to do quickly is just check the system settings. Um, in the system information as you can see 6.60 Pro C is copied across my custom firmware successfully now I'm just going to check the games folder um, maybe I can just launch a quick game let's just launch Tekken and just check that um, everything's running fine yeah guys so the game seems to work fine so that is how you upgrade your PSP's memory card keep custom firmware and keep all your files so if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.